All right, here we are. It's early in the morning, but I'm early enough to do a Pokemon. Because, sure. <laughs> yeah, sure, why not? Um, so the Pokemon Presents starts in like two minutes. So, yes, we will be there, B Square, whatever. Um, any last minute predictions? No, not at all. I do find it interesting that it is 35 minutes. That's curious. But other than that, like, I don't expect any new, right, obviously not Gen 9 or Gen 10. I obviously don't expect any, like, Gen 5 remakes or a Legends Arceus. I could see a Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee 2, like a Johto version of that, because, yeah, but I don't think that's going to happen, because, again, they're focusing on the DLC this year, and I think that's for the best. We're definitely getting the Teal Mask. We're definitely getting um, probably that new Detective Pikachu. I would love red and blue on virtual console but i'd go 50 50 on that honestly i could see it going either way uh I can't think of anything else. I'm sure there is other stuff, though. I don't know. I can't think of anything else. It's just saying for the moment, Premiere will begin shortly. And so the second it starts, we'll kick it off. God, that is loud. I have it muted right now. I'll turn up the volume. Once it gets started, anything I don't I, I would love a new would I love a new mystery dungeon? I don't know. I really lo I I guess I could see them doing a remake of Explorers of Time and Darkness, but I also don't think that's v super likely. Detective Pikachu 2? Like a movie? I don't know, maybe. Hello everyone. I'm Utsunomiya from the Pokemon Company. In today's presentation, we'll be sharing information about several Pokemon projects, including the Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet games. First of all, the weekend of the 2023 Pokemon World Championships is nearly upon us at last. Yeah. And we hope you'll enjoy this video. Hello, Pokemon trainers. I'm Chris Brown from the Pokemon Company Internet. Not that one. We're thrilled to bring the Pokemon. We make that joke every time. Pokemon Japan for the first time ever. In just a few days, over a thousand trainers from all around the globe will make the journey to compete for the title of World Champion across the Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet video games, the Pokemon Trading Card Game, Pokemon Go, and Pokemon Unite. These new world champions will walk home with... Oh god, we're definitely, we're definitely going to hear about Pokemon Unite, which I still hate that game. It is literally child gambling. That actually looks cool. competitor will also receive a special welcome gift. 
Since 2013, the featured promo card in this kit has been Champions Festival, which showcases unique artwork themed after each year's location. Now, for the first time, we will debut a new promo card, Paradise Resort. Competitors will also get the coveted World Pikachu plush, based on this year's celebratory Yokohama artwork. For those who aren't competing, the World's Pikachu plush, along with other exclusive items, will also be available at the largest Pokemon Center World store ever. From August 11th to 13th, as top trainers compete together in Yokohama, we invite the rest of our global community to celebrate Pokemon together at home and tune in to our live broadcast for the event. Now, let me hand it off to our Japan project lead, Rakia, to share the exciting world celebration events happening around Yokohama and Nato Marai beginning today. Thanks, Chris. Rakia Watanabe here from the Pokemon Company. To celebrate the Pokemon World Championships 2023, we've begun a number of events here in Yokohama Minatomirai. We're collaborating with various facilities in Yokohama so that visitors can experience the atmosphere and Pokemon of each region in the Pokemon world. And you'll find plenty of photo ops set up for you, along with great artwork oh, on wow, the Station stuff. and Minatomirai Station to celebrate the World Championships. Additionally, we'll have a specially equipped luxury cruise ship docked at the quay for you a to enjoy during ship? the competition period. From August 11th to 13th, stop on by the Pokemon I mean, I can, you know, I know Disney does them. I can see the Pokemon Company having their own Pokemon-themed cruise there ship. Are spaces on board where Pokemon trainers I know this is just for the thing, but, like, I can see, like, a year round, like, a Pokemon Resort cruise. And Pokemon TCG <laughs> decks in hand. And there are many more events being held, including Pikachu parades. We hope you'll enjoy a fantastic summer together with Pokemon in Yokohama Minatomidai. For more details, please visit the special events website. Finally, I think Chris and I would both like to say... Otano Shimini! We actually have one more video related to the 2023 Pokemon World Championship. Also, oh, I do notice, right, a lot of the predictions were about Mew and Mewtwo for this Direct, and I did notice Mew and Mewtwo Hi, I'm Andy Ghost from the Pokemon Company International. We're thrilled to bring the Pokemon World together for the premiere of our newest short animated series, Pokemon Path to the Peak, at the Pacifico Yokohama on August 11th, alongside the Pokemon World Championships. Pokemon Path to the Peak is a tale that brings the Pokemon trading card the, game to life as you Are they going to talk about the anime? Set in the because isn't the new... Because I want to say the anime just play. finished it's getting dubbed. the story dubbed of our hero Ava who here. discovers her natural talent alongside her partner Pokemon, Oddish. With the support of family, community, and newfound friends, she sets her goal to rise to the very top. Here's a sneak peek. I know it's tough moving to a new place. When does it? But think of it as a new start. You try new things, make new friends, and eventually you'll find does it remind place. me of? Challenge accepted. Welcome to the is Pokemon Luka? Club. You all play together? I don't know. It's got a very That's like awesome. Pixar style know, animation. Right? That's so kind of cool. The girl can play. But how would you do in a real competition with championship points on the line? Okay, that looks fine. I like the animation. Yeah, definitely Pixar vibes. Look out for Pokemon Path to the Peak. Episode 1 will also be available globally on YouTube August 11th. We can't wait for you and all your friends and family to join us on the journey. The first ever Pokemon World Championships to be hosted in Japan is nearly upon us. We hope everyone is looking forward to it as much as we are. Next up, we have the latest on the return of that tough-talking Pikachu. Yep. Here we go. Detective Pikachu returns. The name's Pikachu. And I'm what you Again, might it would be cool if they brought the first detective. game out again. I live and work here I Rime never City. played it, and I don't Where know anybody who ever played it. Side by side. Everyone loves it here. Not just because the coffee's outstanding. <laughs> yeah, I can't think of a when single person who plays Well, okay, Derek Bittner. 
I'm looking for leads and on my probably, and, partner, you know, Joe Merrick and whatnot. And it's no walk in the park, let me tell you. Mm -hmm. You want to know more about me? All right, all right. I guess I can open up a little. First, here's Tim. He's my partner at the moment. For some reason, Tim can understand what I'm saying, even though he's human. And this guy right here is Harry. He's Tim's dad, if you can believe it. Then we got Tim's mom, Irene, I... and his little sister, So Is? There's also Rachel, who goes to college. Is his dad the... Because in the movie, Rachel, her dad, Tim's dad I mean, is the actually Pikachu. actually the mayor of Rhyme City. So, is, is that how it works in the game as well? Here. I would have to assume so, but... Because that definitely looked very afterlife-ish. Whenever an incident occurs, Tim talks to the people, I talk to the Pokemon, and we work together using our case notebook to deduce what happened. When investigating a scene, we're total pros at finding everything, but even pros gotta take it easy every so often. You can count on us to solve even the toughest cases in a flash. Oh, right! Sometimes other Pokemon help us with our investigations. Take Rowlet, for instance. She can track down suspects with her sensitive nose. And Darmanitan here packs a pulverizing punch. All kinds of Pokemon lend us a hand. Oh, how can I the forget Pikachu the Hi-Hat Cafe? It's a famous coffee house in Rhyme City, and I'm their best customer. Oh, that first cup in the morning really hits the spot. Hmm? Looks like trouble's brewing. We just can't catch a break. Seems like another big mystery is unfolding in the city. We just want to find Harry already. It's a Corvin. You want to know what happens? You gotta to wait till October 6th, okay? Why that day? Isn't it obvious? That's the release date for Detective Pikachu Returns. Let's solve some mysteries together. Gruff, tough talking, powered by coffee. The self described great detective Pikachu works together with his partner, Tim, to solve cases around town. Detective Pikachu Returns for Nintendo Switch Systems yep. is now available for pre order on Nintendo eShop and at participating retailers and online stores. We hope you check it out. And uncover for yourself the truth behind the strange case. We got that, and then, tackle. like, what is it, like, two, three weeks later? Next, we have a Super number Mario of Wonder. And updates to share with you. Yeah, this is the anime. I, am, I, I know we talked about this at the time, but I'm still glad they ended Ash's story. After everything that had happened in the anime, actually getting some good payoff and finally ending it. Nah, that's cool. And now, uh, starting off with a new character and a new story. I'm all aboard for it. I don't know, the anime's been airing in Japan for a while now, but it's only... But like I said, the dub finally finished off recently. For the uh, um, Gen 8 series. Oh, hey, it's the turtle from the other, from the thing. This year, Pokemon Go is once again holding multiple Pokemon As far as I know, everyone still hates Pokemon Go. Not like, not in the way that they used to, where everyone was like kind of sick of everybody talking about it. But in the way that they like fucked up and they like... They they basically took the mentality of like, oh, our fans want us to do something? Well, let's just fucking dig our heels in and be as complicated as possible. Diancy can mega evolve into Mega Diancy too. And Mega Rayquaza will also be appearing in Raid. This celebration of Pokemon Go comes only once a year, so we hope you can all join in. Oh, and one more thing.
Pokemon Go shoes? Oh shit. Ooh! I like the sun and the moon. Yeah, like different shoes for each generation. That was... that's neat. Beginning in September, Pokemon first discovered in the Paldea region will be appearing in Pokemon Go. Suit up for adventure and head out in search of Pokemon from every region, from Kanto to Paldea. Pokemon Go Fest, the See, that's real. I, that's Pokemon really Go neat. Having all the generations. Pokemon Too bad, yeah. I just. As we continue through Pokemon Go and I, to be fair, I'm hearing a lot of this from like Laura K. Dale and whatnot, world as your who stage. used to play the game a lot. Pokemon Unite recently celebrated its second anniversary. Allow us to introduce. I still hate. I still hate this game. First is That's something that hasn't changed. Parade, as far as I know, it is still a, ga a child gambling simulator. So, no, thank you. Plus, the legendary Pokemon Mewtwo joins the fray. During battle, Mewtwo can Mega Evolve into Mega Mewtwo X. Mega Mewtwo X can use its moves in quick succession, allowing players to attack relentlessly. Players can obtain Unite License X Mewtwo via an event happening now. And starting August 17th, you'll also be able to get Unite License Y Mewtwo, which allows Mewtwo to Mega Evolve into Mega Mewtwo Y. As Mega Mewtwo Y, you'll be able to battle differently than Mega Mewtwo X. Pokemon Unite will continue to evolve even after its second anniversary. Please look forward to more Pokemon joining the fray. The 2023 World Championship Series prediction event is also underway. All players can participate, so join in the fun and excitement of this year's World Championships. And after this broadcast ends, we'll be gifting powerful Platinum Boost emblems, as well as limited licenses for both Mew and Mewtwo to everyone who enters our special gift code in Pokemon Unite. Plus, we're also holding a second anniversary prize machine event. Yep, prize machine, there's your loot boxes. Popular Holloware for Pokemon like Pikachu and Cinderace. Please join us in celebrating Pokemon Unite's second anniversary. Oh man, Pokemon battling. It's so much better. So much more fun than I ever even knew. God, I still w I really wish Scarlet and Violet had voice acting. Like it drives me crazy that it doesn't. At last, our first sync pair from the Paldea. Cuz like Again, so, uh, somebody went out and actually dubbed all the cutscenes in the game, or at least a bunch of them, and it works so well. The game was clearly designed to have voice acting, and they just didn't fucking do it. And it sucks because Pokemon's got access, because Pokemon is Pokemon. They've got access to like a bunch of great voice actors. Like someone was pointing out, like the main, the guy who plays like Goku and whatnot, is like Callum or something like that. Sure right, like, they've got, like, basically events. all the big four anime who do the dubs also are in Pokemon. And beginning August 9th, another special event will be held to celebrate Nimona's debut. Battle against Nimona I've never played this game either. It's... To earn gems. As far as I know, it's a gotcha but, game. Starting August 16th, Victor and Spectrier will appear. They're a sync pair with a new field role, which excels at field effects. Anyone who completes this event can team up with them. I mean, it is crazy that this game gives you, like, so many Pokemon characters, voice actors, who never had them. There are plenty more events in the works as we ramp up for the fourth anniversary of Pokemon Masters EX. God, so stay four tuned. years. Pokemon Cafe. Pokemon Cafe Remix. Yep. Hmm, what's this? The newest dish at the cafe is... Sushi? No, wait! It's the Mimicry Pokemon Tatsugiri, now visiting the cafe in Pokemon Cafe Remix. Serve up some delight to Curly Form Tatsugiri, Droopy Form Tatsugiri, and Stretchy Form Tatsugiri with some of your best dishes. Progress through the event, and you'll be able to choose one of these three to join your staff. You just have to decide which Tatsugiri you like most. I think the first one is the best one. The 
orange Plus, one. To celebrate this Pokemon present, we're also giving away a special summer fun Jigglypuff. And, and then the shiny form is a different one. I don't remember. I want to say the yellow Orion one's shiny form is the best. I don't remember. Plus, Sprigatito, Wacoco, and Quaxley are also being featured again in delivery. Celebrate all this good news with a bonus 11 times express delivery. Available now without using in-game currency. Play Pokemon Cafe Remix on Nintendo Switch or your mobile device and discover what new Pokemon and outfits may show up in your cafe next. Oh, the trading card game. Okay. Experience People, this is one of the Pokemon This is the last game. When they announced the Game Boy Online, this is the last one that hadn't come out yet. Because Oracle of Ages and Seasons came out last week. I hear people really... I know people really liked this game. And for and it taught an entire generation of kids how to play the Pokemon trading card game. Of course, I never had it, so I never learned how to play the Pokemon trading card game. Stadium 2 is also cool. Okay. I would love, again, I would love red and blue. Go head to head They're not going to do it, obviously, but that'd be pretty cool. Several mini games will also be available. You can play Eager Eevee, Pichu's Power Plant, Furret's Frolic, and more with up to three of your friends. The two titles you see here will be available shortly after this presentation. Okay, cool. Pokemon Sleep, a game that makes waking oh, up yeah, something this, to look this came to, out. was released last month. I when you track your sleep, don't know your results will determine. <laughs> Again, other than Joe Merrick, I don't know anyone who's actually sleeping. playing it. I did hear it had Pokemon shinies in it, sleep styles. which I think is funny. So try to rest your very best and study the many sleep styles waiting to be discovered. We're also preparing a good sleep day in-game event for the night of the full moon, in case some people struggle to get enough sleep that night. Hmm. With the hope you can get enough sleep, even on such nights, we're powering up drowsy power on good sleep days so you can meet even more Pokemon. Try to get your very best rest together with Pokemon Sleep. And next, we turn to the latest updates about the Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet games. And there's the still like 15 minutes in the left four in the Pokemon showcase. series wow. released in November last year. Please have a look at this video. Oh, it's like an anime thing? Huh. Okay. We will release an online original animated series set in the Paldea region. The name of the series is Pokemon Paldean Winds. This original story will depict the youthful drama of several academy students as they come into their own, growing and learning as they attend school. We hope you'll be excited to see Paldea brought to life. I love that they know how uh, none of the middle evolutions are marketable because they're using Mouscarada. Scarlet and Pokemon Violet, but they're to share using with you Quaxley and Fuecoco. Not neither of the middle stages. Oh, here we go, Mewtwo. Yep, everyone called up. And there's Mew.
I mean, it'll be nice to get a, a chance to get a Mew in game. I'm really fucking disappointed with their last event when they did the shiny Gimme Ghoul, and it had the full odds. So it was like a one in what four thousand chance or whatever. Maybe one in two thousand. Whatever. It was still like, what? What's this bullshit? Because at least when Sword and Shield did the special events for shinies, they had like an increased chance of it being shiny. Right? We got multiple Zoro works through the shiny Zoro arc event. Yep, get Mew and Mewtwo. I mean, it's good to get a chance to get Mew every one. Because again, the last time there was a chance to get Mew, it cost fifty dollars. And ugh, the mythical Pokemon Mew and the legendary Pokemon Mewtwo. These two longtime rivals are bringing their fierce battles to Paldea. Starting right now. You can add Mew to your team by entering this password in the mystery gift menu in your game. Each Mew's Terra type, nature, and moves will differ. Hmm. So you do you just keep resetting Enjoy until you get a Mew with a good type? With a Mew that's all your own. Meanwhile, well, the legendary Pokemon Mewtwo will be appearing in a special Terra Raid battle event. Starting in September. Okay. Emerge goes for like two weeks battle, and you'll be able to catch a Mewtwo with the mightiest mark if you challenge Mewtwo with Mew at your side be ready for once something per save special. data we'll also hold a number of other Terra raid battle events that'll help you challenge Mewtwo I don't know the Terra last Terra raid events I participated in were just Mewtwo. awful like they just this event is slated to begin on September and it sucks because like the one Pokemon that's like Awesome at terror raid events. It, it's one, its biggest weakness is psychic types, Finally, and that's a psychic like terror raid. So you're just fucked. DLC coming for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet, titled "The Hidden Treasure of Area Zero. Oh, was that, is that a variant of Applin? Is that a Caramel Applin? Ooh, Atkins is back. That's a Caramel Applin. That's that's adorable. God, Applin's still this. Because I love Applin so much, but I fucking hate its evolutions. Flapples, whatever, but Apple, Appleton sucks. Yeah, look at that car. It's definitely poison type. Yeah, are these like the Terra Mask forms? Ooh. And they're showing the other one as well. I would have figured they would have just focused on the teal mask. Because that's coming out, like, I don't know, in probably 30 days, more or less. If you actually get that power to boost while using it, that'd be cool. It's not going to happen. That'd be cool. Oh, 
Oh shit. We're getting a new type of uh, Duraldon. Oh boy. Am I excited? Gosh, those are great. Still don't know if my boy, my favorite Pokemon's back. So far I haven't What? What the f- Is that- <laughs> That was Raikou in Cobalion. Why the fuck does it look like a giraffe? <laughs> what? And Cobalion looked like, um... What's it called? Oh, hey, that's the area. Yeah, an area zero that does nothing. Well, I mean, you can find Salamence there and the, the whatever the one in Violet is. An old folk tale passed down in the land of Kitakami. Pokemon trainers waiting to battle you at Blueberry Academy. And Area Zero's hidden treasure. Let's take a closer look at what we just saw. The DLC for Pokemon Scarlet or Pokemon Violet, the hidden treasure of Area Zero. Your adventures will extend beyond the Paldea region as you explore new places. Part 1, The Teal Mask. Supervised by Briar, one of the teachers at Blueberry Academy, you'll take part in this year's joint school trip. At the center of the land of Kitakami, a proud mountain stands tall. People live at the base of the mountain and grow apples in sprawling orchards. Rice paddies stretch across the land and time passes slowly amid an abundance of nature. In the land of Kitakami, you'll oh, meet a gosh, wide variety Garter. of Pokemon species that can't be found in Paldea. You'll also meet two siblings who study at Blueberry Academy. The strong-willed Carmine and her younger brother, the meek and gentle Kieran. In battle, Kieran uses Thriplin? a new evolution of Applin. Oh, it's an evolution! A Pokemon that looks a lot like a candy apple. You'll set out on a tour of Kitakami to learn all about a folk... Oh, I still like it more than the other. Flaplin and Appleton. This folktale tells of Pokemon who once saved Kitakami from an evil ogre. Okidogi, Monkey God, Party, I love that name so much. Fezendipity. These Fezendipity is also pretty good as well. Three, and they're hailed as heroes. In the land of Kitakami, inspired by the tale of the Loyal Three and the Ogre, the Festival of Masks is held each year, and the village bustles with people and Saul. What mystery could lie behind this old folktale? We hope you'll all dive in and find out for yourselves. A traveling photographer is also visiting the village. Meet Perrin. It seems she's here in search of a Oh, it's Pokemon. freaking Adamant. Take pictures of Pokemon alongside Perrin and help her Yeah. With In the Ogre Austin minigame, you can pop Ogre Balloons and try for a high score. As a reward, you'll get Mochi, which can help your Pokemon grow strong. You can use Mochi to increase base points for your Pokemon's stats. A fresh start Mochi can even reset a Pokemon's base points, so you can train your favorite Pokemon just the way you like. Hmm. And that's not all. So are they like the new Roto Stick proteins too. and whatnot? Take photos with wider angles using the Roto Stick. Try out new poses and give your snapshots more variety. Yeah, fuck it. Enjoy your school trip oh, amid the gosh. beautiful land of Kitakami. Part 2, The Indigo Disc. Director Cyrano of Blueberry Academy, your academy's sister school, will invite you to visit as an exchange student. This is Blueberry Academy, where your story will unfold. Amazingly enough, this newly built school lies mostly underwater. In the terrarium located within the school, 
you'll find the subtropical savanna biome, the lush coastal biome, the rough and rugged canyon biome, and the freezing polar biome. A total of four artificially created areas. Each of these areas is home to many different Pokemon. Oh, we'll two cannons back. Of this academy, take on new Again, there are still, there's like, still like half a dozen Pokemon like who have never returned. And I want to say two cannon is one of them. The academy students often engage each other in battle and they formed a group called the BB League. Oh, the, um, Alolan Geodude. Or At Graveler. the top of this league stand the Elite Four. The Elite Four. Cool. There's the level-headed student Lacey. I still find it so weird cook, that um, Gen 8 didn't have an Elite Four. The level-headed Amaris and Drayton, whose laid-back attitude belies his impressive battle. I know Scarlet and Violet has an Elite Four. Our Archaladon is a new Pokemon that evolves from Duraludon. That's... These I like that. Are all waiting to be challenged. That's cool. To it's like a bridge, right? Duraldon's a building. So Arch Duraldon's a bridge. Let your that's or that's neat. Fly around temporarily. Perhaps this latent power will be fully unlocked someday. Okay, cool. Having full flying. One of the extracurricular like activities. The gliding and. Is the league club. Uh, what's it called? Sucks. It even gliding in Scarlet and Scarlet Violet. Which you can redecorate as you please. Like it's crazy that freaking Breath of the Wild did it so well on its first try. In this room, and yet even coming out after that, Pokemon still screwed it up. By changing up your Pokeball throwing style. At one point during your studies here, you'll be able to invite trainers from Paldea to be your special instructors. You can spend time with these trainers to get to know them better and battle them too. So I'm assuming there's going to be some sort of Finally, like big tournament. you back to Paldea. What could the hidden treasure of Area Zero possibly be? That was Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet's DLC, the hidden treasure of Area Zero. We hope you look forward to adventuring beyond Paldea's borders. What did you think? We now have the release date for part September 13th. Okay. Please watch for future now. Okay, uh, that news makes sense. Here. Again, I said it was going to be in like the next month, and that's we hope you look technically a little bit more than that, but it's close country. enough. And the new encounters awaiting you there. That's all for today's presentation. Thank you for tuning in. Okay, okay, so... Yeah, there we go. So, if I'm being honest, that was literally exactly what I expected it to be. Like, no joke, one for one, there were, there were no surprises, there was no big intrigue there. It was just exactly what I was expecting. <sighs> I mean, the, the, po the Scarlet and Violet DLCs look good. I'm, like, totally down for whatever they have to show, but... The rest of it... <sighs> I mean, I don't play Pokemon Masters. I don't play the child gambling simulator that is Unite. The trading card game is a cool get, I guess. And the same thing with Stadium 2. I still do want... Again, I want... I really do want just Ruby and Sapphire. I know I can just go... My copy of Ruby and Sapphire is over there. I know I can just go play that, and that's fine, but... It'd be neat to have. But, yeah. Uh, Detective Pikachu, it looked... Yeah, sure. I'm surprised they aren't re-releasing the first one. Like, that would make a lot of sense to, you know, get the first one back out there. Because nobody played it. I mean, they've re-released a bunch of Wii U games. They've even re-released a few 3DS games. But Detective Pikachu was not one of them, surprisingly. 
so yeah, it was very, it was exactly what I expected. Um, again, I could have seen Teal Mask coming out in August, but eh, it's coming out in September. That's fine, I guess. Right in the middle of Starfield, which pfft, that's like the entire month. But we'll find time. I'm I'm gonna stream it off. We stream Scarlet and Violet. I'll stream that, obviously. So yeah, that'll be that there when we get to it. Um, anything else? No, not really. We'll be. Um, I do expect an like an actual Nintendo Direct around then. Usually, there's a Nintendo Direct in early September, so that would not surprise me. Mm. Yeah, just a very predictable, straightforward Pokemon Presents, you know? Nothing too surprising. I mean, I guess I get why there wasn't anything surprising, especially because, you know, we've got a spin-off game coming out. I could totally see why they wouldn't announce, like, Mystery Dungeons or whatever. But there's probably going to be another Pokemon Presents in, I don't know, at the end of the year, and... Who knows, maybe we'll get a remake of Explorers of Sky in, um, like, March of next year. Because that's what they did for uh, Rescue Team, or whatever it was called. Um, I don't I do like that new Applin, though. That's cool. Ca uh, Caramel Applin. And then the Arch Duraldon is also cool. Like, I like Duraldon, you know, my, um... Mecha Godzilla. You can only barely see it in frame over there. Yeah, so that yeah, that was a fine presents. You know, nothing special, but could have been worse. So I hope you all enjoyed. Stay tuned for more. Until next time. Peace.